Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So I think I'm going to do a little vlog today. Um, I've obviously done my skin, makeup, just a little something on my face since I was so pale but I'm going to go and get my lips done. So I'm going to give you a little before. You can see she done like the Russian technique on my cupid's bow last time. And yeah. I'm gonna go and get I think 1.1 mil but we'll see once we're there. Um I'm absolutely knackered from walking up that stairs. But yeah, I thought we'd just vlog today. Go do my tan later, so film that, we'll have a good like pamper glow up vlog. Um I've not had my lips done since my birthday, so that's about six months ago. So I'm wanting just a little top up because I feel like when I smile like it's slightly slightly still there but slightly disappearing so I swear I'm the worst vlogger ever so I forgot to take my camera and um, so I filmed a few little bits on my phone which you've probably just seen but these are my lips after. So I got a mill put in them um, and I'm legit so happy with them. Obviously they are a little bit swollen but yeah, I am in love. But we're now going to do some fake tan. My neck is looking fine actually. I'm kind of upset I've got to take this off. I know there's obviously a, a big colour difference but we're going to do some fake tan, take the tan off and I'm going to try this one. So I've tried the marshmallow one, which is a like leave on for how dark you want kind of tan. Whereas this is just in the shade dark, which is probably quite daring to do. Because this Sunday, as in it's the, what date are we on? The 18th. I think this video is probably going up Wednesday, so like Sunday they are. Um, Sophie Gravia has got the book launch for made in milan and me and my mum are going so i'm needing this tan to pull through but i'm pretty sure it will so i'm gonna jump in the bath take off my tan i think i'm gonna film testing this tan in this vlog because i've not really filmed anything because as i say i'm the worst vlogger in the world and yeah that's it take off the tan it's, it's looking quite crusty dusty and dry i must admit take off the watch that is the sign where you know you need to redo your tan is when you take off your watch, take off your jewellery and you've got a white like patch but yeah, definitely we're going to test this tan out so I'm going to go and run a bath and I'll see you guys when I'm back. Okay so I'm now out the bath slash shower, I've took all of my fake tan off, I did do a little TikTok showing the rose and caramel tan remover um i've just applied a little bit of like the sleeping mask onto my lips keeping it away from the like outside but i'm now gonna do some skincare and then we'll go on to obviously the tan i'll blow dry my hair as well but i'm just going to spray the toner i like to do the skincare before i do the hair because when like i put tan on i don't want any of like my neck or anything um to have any of like the skincare not i say fully dried but you get what i mean like i want it to settle for a little bit before i start applying fake tan products because like mists and things are going to apply, like land on my neck it's an absolute no-brainer um don't worry i'm not going anywhere near my lips I'm just kind of going like right at the top there because I know obviously it's from the side rather than directly in the lip but I'll be able to wear some makeup to work tomorrow but I think I'm just gonna wear what I wore today and it was well I showed you in this video um the <laughs> what the hell um those little glow drops. I'm just gonna go in with the moisturizer. 
same as this morning those were the first time or that was the first time me trying it um and i absolutely loved it even though i got my lips done and obviously she was like wiping around my lips because i you're not obviously supposed to wear makeup it's it's not fair on them and it's like adding like chances of infection and things like that for you um but because i was taking my little brothers and stuff to school and my face was so pale compared to my neck i wanted to put on a little something something so i applied that and i was so impressed like she obviously wiped around my lips and when she was wiping away any trigger warning blood she like it was still sitting fine so 10 10 definitely if you can get your hands on that then i would a million percent recommend just the same skincare as this morning i've got a full in-depth skincare tutorial coming and i've got plenty on tiktok but i'm gonna go blow dry my hair um i'm gonna add a little bit of oil i don't know if my normal oil i've went and left downstairs for like tiktok videos but let me see what i've got and what i'm gonna put in my hair and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've used the Voodoo's Velvet Crown on my hair and blow dried and let me tell you, this is like the sleekest my hair has been in a long time. I've never used a product that's made my hair like this. Like, other products make my hair sleek, but this is just completely different so that is what i've chucked on my mid length and ends i've not popped anything else on but we're gonna go on to tanning which i will show you a few little bits but i do do my full body so you don't gonna see it all um but we'll do a few little bits and kind of show you and i'll probably film tomorrow morning and show you like the after but yeah okay so the next morning why do i look so rough in person i look like i've just woke up and my hair is like a little bit of a messy ponytail and on camera i look rough if also ignore that i was in my cupboard and found a pack of makeup wipes and i was like i'm gonna put them over at my desk so i launched them that way and caught my mouth and like my chin so that is a great start we'll, we'll work on these we will work on these i don't know what happened i think i apply too much um but i will sort it <laughs> it's not the tan because i loaded about three lots of moisturizer on so it's definitely me that's what happens when you have a glass of wine doing your fake tan it's just what's gonna happen. Um, I need to put a little bit more moisturizer in my nose because oh, of course it clings um, to the nose more. Actually, it's really bad in camera. <laughs> it's not like that. I look like I've got this big nose. Um, but I'm so happy with the tan. The elbows are looking fine, nice and glowy. Lips. Obviously ignoring this big horrible scratch here. Take that out. We are all good. I am in love. Um, obviously slight marks, bruising, whatever. Um, I don't really call that bruising. I've had bruising before and it's obviously more like purpley and that kind of thing. Like where the needle went. Um, I don't even know if I've got it on my face. Can I show? No, like, I burst a complete different situation. Um, I burst a spot up here, and the way I burst it, I bruised the skin. And I was just going to show because, like, it just went purple. Um, so that's obviously what would more happen there if that was bruising. It's just more redness from the injections. Maybe, yeah, I think we're fine. It's just more redness, but also try and get rid of this little guy before he decides to come out. But I'm gonna go and have some breakfast, shower, 
and I will be back to show you the tan off and I'll sort these hands out. Um, I like how much it's stuck to my neck. I would like it a little bit darker, but I think this is probably one of the darkest a tan's got my neck, if you get me. Um, so I'll just keep loading up on some tan and mist. This is just a St. Minutes one. This is a medium. I normally use dark, but I'm pretty sure hope that's what home bargains had, so I have to kind of roll with that. Or I'll add in a few little like drops with my moisturiser and just moisturise all over there. Or even just use a gradual tan moisturiser if I can find one. And this is a tan right here once I have rinsed it off. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash the big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!